Hi boys and girls, I'm going to show you how to do the paper plate uh, life cycle of a butterfly. So I sent you rice and noodles in your little baggie. And then here are the rest of the items you'll need. Some colors or crayon, map colors, color pencils, your green paper, paper plate, scissors, and glue. Alright, so the first thing we're going to do is fold our paper plate. So we're going to fold it so that we get four sections. So you're going to fold it in half this way. So it kind of looks like half of a moon, half of a circle. And you're going to open it, and you can see that line going down the middle. You can take your crayon or pencil or marker and draw that line. Then you're going to fold it the other, with that line going across in the middle, like the equator on the earth. We're going to fold it this way, line, uh, get those lines matched up. <coughs> and now you're going to have four equal parts. So first you have half, this was two halves, and now you've got four, so you've got four sections. So. Draw your line here. My table's bumpy, so it's making my line bumpy. I'm outside because it's so pretty. Now we've got four stages of the butterfly. One, two, three, four. All right, so can you all think of the very first stage of the butterfly? What, what very first thing happens in the butterfly? It is when you see the tiny little eggs on a leaf. So I'm going to draw, we're gonna need two leaves, so you could go ahead and draw both of your leaves at this point on your green paper. We're gonna cut the first leaf out. And then we are going to, that's going to be our first square. So we're going to color the background here green. We can go, oh, we need a brown stem for the leaf. Here we go. And then. going to stay in that quadrant, that one-fourth. And we're going to get this ready to put the leaf. That's what this little stem is for the leaf. And then we're going to use our rice. And the rice is going to represent the eggs that the butterfly has laid on the leaf. I think I took a picture of some eggs when I first started filming. We still have our one chrysalis over there in, on, on the milkweed plant. We should be getting close. I think it's about 14 days until you get a butterfly, so hopefully I won't miss it and we'll get a picture of it. So there's our first stage, our stage number one, and we're going to write egg, E, G, G, egg. And we're going to take our leaf, and if you wanted to do some, uh, I thought I had a green crayon here. Them. Oh, there it is. <clears throat> Maybe do the veins in the leaf. Give it a little detail. And now we're going to glue our leaf. <clears throat> on the first stage of the butterfly, the life cycle. <clears throat> so there's our little leaf. Now on the leaf, 
we're going to put some eggs. So you're probably going to need runny glue for this <clears throat> because the stick glue, the stick glue might work, but I'm not real sure. And then I'm putting the rice in the glue, and of course that glue is going to dry clear. So there's the little eggs that the butterfly has laid. And that's our first stage. How cute is that? Now we're going to go to the second stage. Does anybody have an idea about what the second stage is? This is the fun stage. Remember I showed you our little friend that kept getting bigger and bigger and bigger? That is the caterpillar stage. So we are going to draw us some grass down here. And then you can do your caterpillar any color. You could research what caterpillars look like, different ones for different butterflies. I'm going to do mine like what mine looked like while it was on our leaves over there. So it's going to be black and yellow. And <clears throat> so this stage is called the larva stage. Or if you want to write caterpillar, you can certainly write caterpillar. <clears throat> and of course we want to do um, maybe a nice cloud. Maybe a nice sun. And then we're going to write uh, larva, L-A-R-V-A. Like I said, you could also say caterpillar. I'm going to put the sky in the background, too. And this is stage number two for the life cycle of the butterfly. Take your time and make it really pretty. This would be something pretty to hang up and think about all summer while, while we're during summer and when you see a new uh, butterfly. <clears throat> the butterfly that Raven shared with us, and she named her butterfly Rose, when it was her birthday, I went over to uh, take her her birthday hat and her birthday sack like you all got in school. And... We were on the front porch, and lo and behold, there comes Rose flying right up to Raven. And Raven said, Rose visits all the time. So maybe when you're out and about this summer, you can see the same butterfly visiting. <clears throat> I've been looking a lot at nature, and we had a family of birds that, they had babies in our birdhouse. All right, there's st stage one is the egg. Stage two is the larva or the caterpillar. All right, the next stage, after the caterpillar eats and eats and eats and eats and eats and, eats and gets really uh, chubby, 
That's when he, and this happened in hours, I mean, maybe minutes, I don't know, I missed it. But it's going to put itself into that cocoon stage. And my cocoon or chrysalis, it's called the pupa stage, uh, is green. So I'm, uh, I gave you noodles. This is going to be your uh, cocoon or your pupa stage. You can color it, you could paint it, or you could just leave it. See how it's turning green when I'm coloring it? Uh, or you can just leave it, uh, the noodle color, that's fine. Again, uh, oop, uh oh, I dropped my, I dropped my, my chrysalis or my pupa. All right, so mine is going to be green because that's what color mine actually is over here on the plant. But if you research, I'm sure you're going to see different looking chrysalis chrysalises or cocoons. And I believe, if I remember correctly, I rem if I remember correctly, a chrysalis is. Um, what you call when a butterfly is going to hatch and a cocoon is what you call if a moth is going to hatch, but don't quote me on that. I need to re-look that up and make sure that's real. All right, so in this, we need to cut our second leaf. <clears throat> this is the third stage of the cycle of the butterfly. And we need to put our little that's going to be our little stem for the leaf. <clears throat> Excuse me. I'm going to draw my details on my leaf. And I'm going to draw green again just to give it, you can do it blue if you want, whatever. Just to make it look finished. <clears throat> I have a frog in my throat. So I'm coloring this green. And this is where we're going to glue our next leaf. Like I said, I know y'all always make yours prettier than mine. Kind of bumpy on that paper plate. So we're going to glue this leaf down. And this time we're going to glue the chrysalis. And like I said, this is called the pupa stage. And you, if you want to put more than one noodle, I, I didn't know how many you would want to do. I'm just going to do the one. And we're going to write P-U-P-A. If you want to write chrysalis or cocoon there, you may do that. And we have one final stage. Can everybody guess what it is? In about two weeks, you get the beautiful butterfly, right? <clears throat> and that's called the adult. So you're going to draw your butterfly. And a butterfly is symmetrical. That means it's the same on both sides. So if you can try to, like if it has a purple spot right here, it's going to have a purple spot right here. If it has purple stripes down here, it's going to have purple stripes over here. And you can make your butterfly whatever design you want to make it. <clears throat> make it as colorful as you can. Try to make it symmetrical. That's the same on this side as on this side. So it would be the same on both sides.
And then maybe if we wanted to color the background, blue, or however you, you decide, you make your butterfly as beautiful as you want to make it. And that's the adult stage of the, butter, the life cycle of the butterfly. When it hatches, it becomes the most beautiful creature. I think the most beautiful bug, insect that we have, but that's just Mrs. Sweeney's opinion. There's the antenna. And we need to write adult. A, D, U, L, T. And I'm going to color the background again. You could add another cloud. You could add a flower. Because, boy, when those butterflies get strong and they start to fly, where are they going to go? They are going to go to the flowers and suck all the nectar up. And the way they drink is kind of like through a straw, and it's called a proboscis. And they, it uncurls, kind of like one of those birthday horns that you blow out. Their proboscis comes out, and they drink through that proboscis, suck it, suck the nectar. And then they fly to the next flower and collect some more nectar. I know there's a video, a close-up of that, so you can see what I'm talking about. Have your parents Google that and look that up. It's super interesting to see how the butterfly drinks the nectar. All right, boys and girls, I sure hope you enjoyed making the life cycle of the butterfly, and I sure hope I capture our butterfly on video, and I will share it on our Remind, like I've been doing all along. But isn't this pretty? And we've learned so much today, and spring and summer is full of new babies and new growth and new happiness and hopefully we can get back to the woods soon and things will be lovely again. There is our life cycle of the butterfly. I love it! Egg, larva, pupa, adult. Okay, I hope you have fun making your Butterfly life cycle. Enjoy. Bye-bye.